up guys? Uh, Jib here. I am starting to do this Let's Play, which I'm sure you can see is Metal Gear Solid 1 for the PlayStation. Um, it's probably one of, I mean, definitely in my top five games of all time, and definitely one of the most like influential games on me. So uh, I'm pretty stoked to be doing this. Um, I think I'm gonna go through and do the game, and I think at the end, actually, after doing the Let's Play, I'm actually gonna do some of the VR training, too. Uh, special... I don't know what special is, hold on. Special... oh, yeah, okay, that's just... This is just... yeah, okay, never mind. Special isn't all that special. Okay, so we're gonna start a new game. Play it on normal. I'm going to try to get... oops. Yeah, there's some memory card issues that we're going to have to deal with. Um, but I'm going to try to get through this game as close to no alarms and no kills as I can. I've never really done that before, so I'm not really sure if I can do it. But we'll see. the audio issues uh, go away. Yeah. Might be a little audio glitch here and there, but I think we'll be fine altogether. I've always loved the, this game for pioneering this whole idea that video games could be cinematic all the time. It was really cool, and before it, not a lot of games had really done that. Metal Gear Solid pioneered that idea and Colonel, did it very well. Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If, if you, you need, need to, to contact, contact me, me by, by codec. codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. I don't know why, I've always loved how, stimulates the small uh, bones of your ear. To, to put it, how you Necroscope put it, it. Got it, how they break okay, the fourth wall, go. and, uh, you know, they say things like select button or action button, and it's this really interesting, oh, here, I forgot to get this, there's a really interesting idea that, uh, Kojima, the guy who made the game, Hideo Kojima, it's this really interesting idea that Kojima really messed with in Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, a lot of people kind of say they don't really understand the ending, and I mean, it's kind of holds on to that theme. It's trying to break that that wall between, you know, these are not characters in a video game, or they're not real characters, they're characters in a video game, and they know that, you know. Ah, uh, crap. What was that noise? Wow, I'm really not doing well right now. <laughs> hmm. Hopefully he doesn't notice those footprints. Alright. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do as close to no alerts, no kills as possible. Um, I know in certainly in this moments in this game it's, it's impossible. Um, Okay, I'm here to wait for the elevator. You know, because you get ambushed and you, you know, there's no tranquilizer gun in this game like there is in the other Metal Gear, so you have to kill enemies quite often. But, uh, when I don't have to kill someone, I'm gonna try not to. But, they'll probably get really hard and I'll probably give up on that within first couple of times going through it. Hold on one second. I gotta see F6 and F1. Okay, that's really weird. Hmm. 
I changed my emulator. Usually I use EPSXE, but I had so many problems trying to get this game to run on EPSXE. And uh, I'd kind of heard that if you use PSX, it just runs a lot better. So I'm using PSX, and I've never used it before, so I'm not even, I didn't even know how to save state until right now. Old Snake's the coolest character, I think, in the history of video games. Oh, like, oh can't see me. <laughs> I don't think, like, if I had to choose one, you know, favorite character in the history of all video gaming, I totally have to go with Snake. some kids playing outside and fucking pissing me off and making noise, but it's too hot to close the window, so if you hear random kids playing, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Come on, sound. So we've infiltrated Shadow Moses. And if any of you have played Metal Gear Solid 4, oh man, like the nostalgic feeling of when you come back to this area at the end of the game. Sorry if I spoiled it for you. <laughs> I don't really think it's a big secret or anything, I'm, but it's, it's amazing. It's really well done. Snake. I'm in front of the disposal. Solid snake. Whoa. Excellent snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. I don't know what the hell that How's was. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. Uh, come on. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. The radar should have already picked them up. Picked them up. Picked them up. Picked them up. <laughs> Having major sound issues here. Behind... Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. Russian looks gunship like doing here. Got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. It's a pretty sweet helicopter. That's actually the same helicopter, or it's not the same one, obviously, but it's a a similar type of helicopter gunship that's found in a Metal Gear Solid 3. Also, I'm planning on doing um, Metal Gear Solid 2 Let's Play after this, so I'm going to try to bring in as many of like little tie-ins and all that sort of stuff, like the connection between the games only as, as I can. You've got to hurry. I'm going to close my window. Hold on. Wow. He must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She right, assigned back. your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. <laughs> I was always so pissed at Metal Gear Solid 4. What's wrong? That uh, Mei Ling didn't I have her didn't Asian accent anymore. Of military technology to be so and it's only, uh, <laughs> always just kind of bugging me. me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. <laughs> but uh, I'm surprised. <laughs> You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. 
I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your solar town radar system. I already the know about it. Yeah, yeah. Right down the middle. 